Thursday the 27th of July 2011. Chris Reardon's United Kingdom talk. Thank you very much to uh, Lil, Fagash Lil, who writes in, because I, I was confused with a couple of recipes she uh, recently wrote in. Hi Chris, I think I may have confused you with the recipes. You certainly did. You certainly did, Fagash Lil. Uh, the Rogan Josh is a curry. Now, I didn't even know that. Had no idea what a Rogan dish was. Um, a Rogan, do Rogan Josh is a curry. The chicken and mushroom can be used as either a pie filling or... Oh, hello, Katie. She's here. Come on in. Up you come. You coming up? Or, what is it? Or a pasta sauce. So thank you for clearing that up, Bagash Leal. I was getting very confused with your culinary skills, my dear. Do try and speak more specifically. Oh my God, she's purring loud today, ain't ya? Are you extra happy today, Katie? Of course you are, eh? I am extra happy because you're with me. It's true, can I have a kiss? Hello? Please yourself. Thank you, Lil. Um, Alan8943 says, how to annoy Ronnie with a Y? Call him Ronald Esquire and see how we react to that. So I will try that out, okay? I'll try that out and come back to you and let you know what he says. <laughs> Don't want to upset the boy too much. Um, hello to Toby. I think Toby's, I'm sure Toby's in Japan. Yes, here he is. Hello, Chris. This is Toby from Japan. How are you, Toby? Long time no speak. He's a regular contributor to the programme who says, I hear you over and over again about your weight regime. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I've had this problem for years. I have thought I'm fat for many, many years now. Here are some tips on how to lose weight. I learned this from NHK. What, I don't know what NHK is. Is that a... Is that a TV station in, in Japan, NHK? Tell me, tell me what that is. Number one, eat dietary fibre food, non-starchy vegetables. Be first, before you eat your main meals. Not, not during, before he's saying. Doing so, it will slow down the burning process in your body because it takes time to digest the dietary fibre first. So your digestion will take longer and you procrastinate your hunger. That's a word. That. I thought that was a rude word at first. Procrastinate. <laughs> Number two, chew 30 times for each of your bites. Count it literally. Chewing will make you feel full. You don't want to eat more when you feel full. I don't know if I've got time to sit there and chew 30 times each mouthful. Blimey, Toby, you must have a lot of free time on your hands, dear. 30 times. Number three, get plenty of sleeping, but not in your full stomach state. When you are awake, your brain is working. The brain prefers energy produced from sugar, but the heart prefers energy produced from fat. When you are sleeping, because apparently I do snore. A couple of people have told me I snored. Uh, when you were, uh, Ronnie told me I snored when we was um, at my niece and nephew's wedding up north. Um, we, had, uh, we, we shared a room and from his bed, he stuck his leg out and kicked my bed because it was snoring so loudly. <laughs> I should snore even more loudly in Las Vegas just to get on his nerves. Um, when you are sleeping, the major consumption of energy in your body is your heart. Give these things a try and hope that helps Toby. Thank you, Toby. Um, great to hear from you, by the way. Really great to hear from you. I hope things are um, improving for you people in Japan. I know you've had a bad time of it last year. Um, Duffy512, I think I might have read this one out, says, you and Ronnie are just like the two Ronnies. Good dynamic duo. Thank you, Duffy. Um, have I read these? I'm not getting confused. I'm sure I'm reading things out twice. Am I? <laughs> am I reading things out twice? I do apologise if I am. I'm, I'm losing the plot here. Uh, Joe Morris says you are the best presenter solo solo presenter ever. Thank you, Joe. However, oh, Ronnie is to you as Holly was to me. Now, Joe used to do a um, uh, a talk show in America, americantalkusa.com. It doesn't do it anymore, but he has a, had a sidekick called Holly. Ronnie is to you like Holly was to me. The dynamic between you and Ronnie is all the rage. Love it, love it. From Joe Morris, 
number 62 model, Eastern Tennessee, United States of America. Thank you, Joe. Nice to hear. I'm glad you're still with us, Joe. Do you ever think you might want to start doing shows again? Eh? Just a suggestion. Just a suggestion. Let me just... I've put a bit of paper down there that I didn't want to put down there. There it is. Okay. My cousin Helen has watched the show. She says, I know you now need to get for Christmas a chopping board. What's with the plates? Well, actually, cousin Helen, I do have a chopping board, but it's a bit big. It's a large chopping board and it's marble and it's, it's so heavy. It's really heavy, so I never get it out of the drawer. I prefer to chop up on a plate, and plates are much easier to wash up than chopping boards, I think. And she also says, please, can we have more shows with Ronnie and cookery classes? I might just do that. I might just do that. All right, girl. Um, oh, there's... Now, there's the recipe Fagash Lil sent me for corn, chicken and mushroom pie, pasta sauce, and uh, Easy Rogan Josh. So I'll keep hold of these. We are, we've got, to, I think there's three recipes now altogether. All right, so we will do these. Do you know what? I think I've, I think I've completed the emails. Did I print off any today? I don't think I printed off any today. I know I had one from um, Carl in Yorkshire. Carl, hello Carl, who also informs me that the uh, Roche dish is indeed a curry. As I say, I had no idea. I'm not a, not a curry eater, so thanks for that, um, uh, Carl. Uh, apologies to those of you that uh, watched and listened to Sunday's show. There was a bit of a problem with the sound equipment on Sundays in that uh, the, the, the little gadget I usually record on didn't work for some reason, so the camera, uh, the sound had to come straight from the camera. All right, uh, don't forget there's a brand new music mix up there this week. Anyone who wants to download that, it's 80 pence. I'm sure that's going to break the bake. And 80 pence uh, to download my latest music mix. Slightly different to the others. There's some uh, classic pop tunes on there. I know I've got I Will Survive and I think there's something from Take That and the Sugar Babes. I can't remember exactly what. But if you want to download that, you'll find that at chrisreardonshow.co.uk. All right, chrisreardonshow.co.uk. Dot UK. Uh, Sean writes, hello Chris, um, I've been taking the dogs for a walk with my dad, I'm very hot. He sent this in on Sunday, it was a very hot day here Sunday actually. The weather is not helping, oh come on Sean, how can you complain? I mean how much hot weather have we had this year? Barely anything. Anyway, he wants me to do some dry voiceovers, um, he's got the scripts ready, so that's fine Sean, send them through. Okay, and I'll do those for you, ten, that's, that's alright, I don't mind doing ten for you. And he says, as for your um, uh, uh, DJ mixes that you sell, that's the ones I mentioned, chrisreddenshow.co.uk, is there any way to get them automatically? Thanks in advance. No, there isn't, I'm afraid. OK, um, you have to go to chrisreddenshow.co.uk and get them on there, right? Download them uh, manually. Look at this. I've actually run out of emails. How fantastic is that? I've, actually, there was a couple on my mobile phone, which I haven't got with me um, today, so I'll do those tomorrow. Now, in yesterday's show, no one's responding to this, uh, responded to this yet. I was asking you, what have you found in your shed or loft or attic that perhaps you haven't seen for years? Anything of interest? Anything at all? You know, something, perhaps it was valuable. I don't know. Perhaps you found something that was valuable. What have you found in there? Now, uh, you say on last, yesterday's show that I'm cleaning out the shed the large shed next to me at the moment, which is nearly done now, because um, I'm going to knock that down and use the area for growing things in. And in there, I found uh, these, uh, amongst other things, and I'll show you a few more bits and pieces as the shows come up. Here we are, look at this. Well, right, I'm going to have to put you down, Katie, while this is, can you get down, darling? Oh, I've got someone at the door. i tell you what, I've got someone at the door. I'll read these out for you tomorrow. Thanks for watching and listening. The email address of the show is chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk, all right? I'll show you tomorrow. Thanks for watching and listening. Bye-bye.